they coming? I was supposed to do that. Well, it's too late. What do you mean, too late? It was my duty. Maybe next time. What next time? Blooded my nose. Oh, you get out of here. <laughs> you were giving me a sissy complex. Hey, why don't we just go a little? What about my complex? Well, it looks clear enough for me. I don't be funny. You're wrecking your masculinity. You know that? <laughs> All right, the bull's mad now. <laughs> How am I supposed to handle this? Well, I think he just did. <laughs> <laughs> Tough, huh, kid? Oh, yeah. I'm messing with you. Have you ever... Let me ask you a question. Do you ever hit anybody when you're really angry? Do you ever haul off and pop somebody? Oh, uh, I've been known to. What do you mean, known to? Have you done it? Growing up in the mountains. It's been a long time. Yeah? I sometimes want to. Just haul off and give them a Yeah, little... just haul off and just knock them down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was little, I was, I was quite a tomboy. You've grown out of that, Because growing up huh? in 12 kids. Well, it depends on who wants to push me how far. Yeah, well... <laughs> Won't push it. You're gonna, have you got another number that you're going to do with the guys? Yeah, there's a song. Uh, you want to do, are we doing the commercial first, Fred? Okay. okay, this is called Drinkenstein. I wrote this about my dad and my brothers and all my people back home. They're always such fun when they drink. And, and this is one of Sly's songs in the movie. Okay, and it's a special well, come right song. Okay, thank Drinking you. song. Drinking song. Drinking song.
Thank you, Careful. Thank you. We will take a break. We'll be back. <coughs> good to see you again. Uh, it's good to see you. I always look so forward to... Been a while since you've been here. I saw, uh, I think it was Home Box Office when you were in England. Yeah. Did a show over there? Yeah, that was about a year ago. They you? love you there, don't they? That was a real good audience. And that night yeah. we did that show, they had a bomb scare in the, in the audience. Really? And just before the show went on, they took everybody out of the building. Every single person went across the street and they waited. And every single person came back. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you call a loyal That's fan. That's a loyal well, fan. Well, we'll sit on a bomb to see somebody. Yeah, but I was the bomb. Yeah, no, no way. <laughs> that was in, the scary. In England, they say if a performer is a bomb, do you know what that means in England? Huh. Here it means you die. If you're a bomb in England, you're a huge success. Huh. Yeah, they say well, he was a bomb the other night. That means explosive. Really? Yeah, really big. So I'm when they say you're a bomb in England, you're <laughs> hey, You finally got your star on the Hollywood yeah. Walk of Fame, right? I was really excited yeah, about that. Thank you. Where are you? If I, uh, if I wish to go down and walk on your star or look at it, where would I, where would I head? <laughs> it's right in the front where you come up to buy your ticket. I'm on, uh, Sly's on the right, and I, mine's on the left, and we're just a few feet apart. Are you right on, on what, Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard, mm -hmm. Vine? Or? Yeah, just right out there in the front. Yes. And I was that was a real big thrill to me, because we've been doing so much press, and I've been running back and forth for days, and I knew we were going to get the star, and I was excited about it, but it didn't really hit yeah. me till I saw it. That's and I was just like a kid. I thought, I'm a big star now! Yeah. Yay! Immortalized <laughs> in <laughs> cement for all yeah, time. Yeah, it, it meant a lot. I was really excited. I asked you during the break. I said, you, we've talked about your, you and your hu hubby before. You don't see each off in a great deal, because you're traveling all the time, and he doesn't have that much interest in traveling with you. Mm -hmm. And you say that works out very well for you. It does. We're not together all that much, but we're together as much as we both really want to be. And I was going to give you a few tips. What, really? <laughs> yeah. But that's like Stay the, away. The, the horse is already out of the barn. Yeah, it's a little, little late for that. <laughs> but uh, we really have a good relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I had a silly question on my mind, and I, 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 it, it, it left me for some reason. Is there anything that you, uh, that you want, always wanted all your life? Because you, you came from... Not a wealthy background. That you, no. that you, when you got some money, you went out and bought. Well, I just go out and buy everything I think I want. But I, you know, it's a funny thing growing up poor like that in such a big family. I still can't waste money. Yeah. I always, I, mean, I always think about it because I always think, well, now I could, I'd rather buy a whole bunch of cheap clothes than one thing that costs a lot. It's almost <laughs> like, it's almost like it bothers me somehow. And I'll bet you don't like to throw things away, do you? No, I don't. Just I give case. things away. I got so many brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts yeah. and uncles. And so every time I clean out my closet, there always yeah. there's always somebody that can. You know, that We're always can delighted work. when you're with us, really. I always love it. I you're look forward to this so much. You're a lovely performer. You're a lot of fun too. Thank you. Okay, we'll take a break. We have.